Psalter reading this morning, we'll look at uh, selection number 68, which you'll find in the back of your Trinity hymnal. Selection number 68, from page 658. And we'll read through Psalms 134 and 135 responsibly. Selection number 68 reads as follows. Behold, bless ye the Lord, ye all ye servants of the Lord, which by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands, and bless the Lord. The Lord that made heaven and earth, bless thee out of Zion. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the name of the Lord. Praise him, O ye servants of the Lord. Ye that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise, praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises unto his name, for he is blessed. For the Lord hath chosen Jacob unto himself, and Israel for his peculiar treasure. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is the Lord of us. Whatsoever the Lord pleased, that did he in heaven and in earth, in the seas, and all deep places. He causes the vapors to ascend from the hands of the earth. He maketh lightnings for the rain. He brings the wind out of his treasures. Who smote the firstborn of Egypt, both of man and beast. Who sent tokens and wonders into the midst of the people of Egypt, upon Pharaoh and upon all the servants. Who smote great nations and slew mighty kings. Gave their land for an heritage, and heritage unto Israel his people. Thy name, O Lord, endureth forever, and thy memorial, O Lord, throughout all generations. For the Lord will judge his people, and he will repent himself concerning his servants. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Neither is there any breath in their mouths. They that make them are like unto them. So is everyone that trusteth in them. Bless the Lord, thou house of Israel. Bless the Lord, O house of Aaron. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi. Ye that fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Bless be the Lord out of Zion. Praise ye, Lord. Let's respond to the ministry of God's word by coming before Him and confessing to Him our sins. Let's join in prayer. We praise you, God, for your name is eternal. It is everlasting. You, in the Trinity of your being, know one another, Father, Son, and Spirit, fully and perfectly. There is no hiddenness in you, O God. Your name is perfect and complete, but we, in bearing your name, often fall far short of your glory. We fall into sin in so many ways and bring disgrace to your name. We pray that your mercies would be on us, that you would forgive us for our great sins, forgive us for looking to ourselves and seeking, seeking to establish our own names, our own place in this world. We pray, Lord, that you grant us grace that we might turn from our sin to hate and reject it and to live for you, giving ourselves over to you for your glory, for the glory of your name. We ask for the forgiveness of our sins against you and against one another through Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. The Lord's readiness to forgive is given to us in the words of the Apostle John, 1 John chapter 1, where we read as follows, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. 
how thankful we are for the grace and mercy of the Lord that takes away all of our sin, washing them through the blood of the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and makes us new in Him. Let's approach our gracious Lord in prayer and bring our requests to Him, seeking His blessing on us. Let's pray. Father, we thank You for our day today. We pray for Your blessing on it. We would ask that You would teach us to pray even as our Lord taught His disciples to pray, saying, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For Thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Glorious things of thee are spoken. Number 269. We'll stand and